There are some exciting new programs and exhibits coming to the Edina Historical Society, mostly driven by the new executive director who came on board last fall. Here's a chance to meet this new community leader and learn about some of the new programs she's introducing. Edina's history has more breadth than many people may realize. In fact, the local history of Edina, which goes way back, especially with Native American populations in Minnesota, but also goes back especially to the pioneer days as well. Fortunately, a group of Edinans realized back in the late 1960s that much of the local history was disappearing as subdivisions supplanted farms and small villages. And so the Edina Historical Society began in 1969 to begin collecting and preserving objects and documents, records, photographs, and things like that. The nonprofit Edina Historical Society has a museum and offices at Arneson Acres Park. Surprisingly, this nondescript blue building is a treasure trove for Edina residents seeking to learn about the city's past. We'll chat again soon, though. And one of the more recently acquired treasures is the new director, Molly McIntosh. I began working just as a historic guide at the state capitol something like six or seven years ago when I was just fresh in college. Wait, and freshman? So I... Six or seven years ago? Don't let that fool you. In just those few years, she's earned both bachelor's and master's degrees in history with certifications in museum studies. And her resume includes some of Minnesota's most prestigious institutions. But I kind of solidified here in Edina because it gave me a wonderful opportunity to combine my love of art and history in a way where we can utilize this amazing collection to kind of bring together a lot of elements of, you know, historic research and presentation with the museum. It is an amazing collection. The permanent display covers overall Edina history and takes into account the contributions by pioneering women and African Americans. While across the hall, this year's annual exhibit is The Art and Creativity of Edina's Bill Mansky. It's a personal look at a resident artist. But it's those connections to specific individuals that kind of connects you to the era and to the mindset. And so that's why it's very fun to kind of have these focal points on specific individuals, individual neighborhoods, and kind of you learn a little bit more that way. Molly has a huge task ahead because... While COVID closed everything down, now the board is really motivated to reopen in a way where they're really excited and really pushing for new initiatives and new programming. And I think that's why they wanted someone like me. You know, I'm a little bit younger, I'm pretty fresh, but at the same time, I have a lot of great ideas. Some of the new program ideas include neighborhood walking tours, a traditional Sunday tea, and summer school for grade and middle schoolers. But possibly Molly's favorite initiative is the History Careers Program for high schoolers. Which is a program for students in the summer to visit museums and talk to professionals about careers in museums and in history. And so these are just some of the early initiatives that we've been working on to kind of provide really diverse programming for literally all ages. Edina does indeed have a wonderful history. Pieces from the original mill. That has a strong future, thanks to someone with new ideas. Which provided a lot of food for the surrounding area. For Edina TV, I'm Tom Cornell. To learn more about the Edina Historical Society, visit edinahistoricalsociety.org. There you can see upcoming events, how you can get involved, and where to make a donation.